Hello there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. It's Monday. Happy Monday to you all. We all love a Monday. It's fact it's a miserable Monday. It's absolutely chucking it down. Although I do I do I do like a bit of rain sometimes. I do. Uh we've got we can be happy. We we're in the championship still, so a bit of rain, you know, don't hurt anybody. Um so transfers and rumours. So before we get talking about anything. Give us a big thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you could please, it does help the channel and uh, let's get down to business. Now as you can tell from the title, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about Cameron uh, McGeehan. Now yesterday we touched on uh, Corley Woodrow, there were some rumours going around on a load of Barnsley forums which I thought I'd just talk about and as I stated in that video, you know obviously it depends, you're going to get rumours flying about left, right and centre, it's part and parcel of football, it happens all the time, rumours come and go, transfers come and go, so listen, every little bit, I suppose I've got to talk about it, because it's what I see, I've got to, you know, if I see it, I look all the time, um, now this one of course we're talking about Cameron McGeehan, now I've seen, uh, this has actually been on a website, um, I think it's a Portsmouth uh, newspaper down there and website uh, regarding Cameron uh, McGeehan. And basically what we're going to talk about in this video is, is Cameron McGeehan going to be with us next season? Do you guys still want him here? Do, do you feel like, you know, his time at Barnsley's probably come to an end uh, and that he's probably going to be playing for a Portsmouth next season. It looks as though they're, they're eyeing up a deal to sign him. Um, so what what would you guys do about that? Would it, would it be a good move for for us to get Cameron McGeehan off the wage bill? We shall see. Now, my overall opinion on it is pretty simple, really. McGeehan, for me, I like him. Last season, well, the season before, <laughs> League One season, him and Moa were, were, were absolutely tremendous together in that midfield. Um they made a good partnership, and I've, I, I, the, the, what you get with McGeehan is up and down, getting stuck in, he's a goal threat in the box, you know, his shooting's not necessarily brilliant, but is anybody going to tell me Mowitz is? Mowitz is good sometimes, and then it isn't, and so, yeah, McGeehan's good twice for us in the championship, you know, um, in the box, you know, he's, he's a threat in the box. He's running onto running onto balls and stuff like that, putting him in. Uh, now, obviously, him going out on loan again for the second time during his spell at Barnsley uh, to Portsmouth. Obviously, weren't in Gerhard Struber's plans then, so why should he be now? And I suppose that is the realistic view on it. And if I were Cameron McGeehan, I would probably want out of Barnsley uh, for being loaned out twice uh, and in all fairness I mean the last thing he did were he, he put out a tweet saying incredible Barnsley which was very very good of him knowing that he's still keeping a check on the results and everything uh, and obviously the lads here and all that will still be he'll still be quite close with the lads here as well but uh, for me I think Cameron McGeehan's time as a red is probably coming to an end and I, I don't want to say that because I like him and I don't think I would personally still have him. And what we've got to think about, guys, is how we're going to retain, like we touched on yesterday. We didn't just touch on Woodrow yesterday. We touched on Alex Mowat. Are we going to retain Mowat for another season? Yes, he had that contract extension leading him to 2021 as a red. But as we know, if they're not going to stay, we know what happens, that we let him go. So I think it's important that we do this very very carefully so if Moa is gonna go I think Cameron McGeehan need, would for me need to come back personally as a player you know I do believe you know I'd, I'd get fed up now I mean loaned out and all this and that but I think if Moa is going to be the one to leave the club then I think it's important very important that McGeehan stays and even, even do you know what, even with Mowat, I'd, I'd probably still want McGeehan. But obviously, if he's not in Struber's plans, then there's no we can do about that. But for me, McGeehan, it can get you a goal, it works up and down. You know, it's a no-brainer for me. It's a no-brainer for me. Mowat, McGeehan is better than some of the players that I've, I've seen. And... Whatever, what will be, will be. But I think it's important. It's like the, like last last year like in the transfer window when we let Mowat, uh, when we let Pinnock go, we let Lindsay go. 
But I think even before we let, let them go, we let Adam Jackson go, which was the cover defender for both them two. So for me, that was a mistake. We should have held on to Jackson because we knew we'd get offers in for the likes of Pinnock and Lindsay. So this is sort of the same situation where let's if Mowat's gonna get there's gonna be speculation about Mowat, I don't know. I would assume there is, you know, absolute bulldog in that midfield, you know, in a struggling side, works his bag out, brilliant. I wouldn't I I, I expect the to be speculation and offers regarding Mowat. So that is why you, you keep older your Cameron McGeehan your Cameron McGeehan. It's as simple as that for me. It's a no brainer for me. Uh, and I liked McGeehan, you know, last season in League uh, One, it were, were, were tremendous for us. Uh, and, he, and even this season, I don't think he did too much wrong, if I'm honest with you. I, I really don't. And uh, we'll see what happens, obviously. But it looks like Portsmouth are going to try and put in uh, some offers for him. And it's, it's if the offer's right for the club as well. It depends how much they offer uh, and, it, and whether they feel like it needs to be accepted or not. But obviously, it's not. don't boil down to us as fans. I, I personally like him to still be here, but I can understand it if he wants to go and I can understand sort of if the club don't want him here because at the end of the day, Struba sent him out on loan in the first place. So, But I just feel like it's important that we, we keep him just in just in case you, 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 your other players go, your, your Mowats and stuff like that. That is my whole point of this. But... We will see, we will see. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, there's not really been too much uh, regarding other transfers. There's going to be, I, I mean, I wanted to see some where players are coming in, never mind players leaving club. Um, but yes, we are going to try and get the season review on for you guys in the next few days. We're going to try and get the lads on, most of the lads who come on to the channel to give their overall view on it. Um, obviously, it's going to be a lot better talking about a survival. But then again, listen... There's still obviously faults, which we'll talk about. But uh, you know, to say that we stopped up on the final day, that 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 that's still the positive. So, what's your guy? What's your guys' thoughts on this with Cameron McGeehan? Would you allow McGeehan to go? Obviously, he's at that stage now where he needs to be playing regular football. And if we can't offer that, then I can understand. But at the same time, you know, if there's, I know for a fact there's going to be speculation about other players going big star players. So that's my view on it. It, that's one of the reasons why I would probably keep McGeehan. Um because of, listen, there's the styles as well in there. The styles who's come on leaps and bounds. But obviously, I don't think throwing styles in as the main man in the midfield is at his age yet is still the right way to go about it. Because I still think Styles needs that Mowat at the side of him. Because Mowat's at that age now, where and he's the captain at the end of the day as well. We've not going to forget that. So. I think McGeehan will want to play regular football and obviously if we can't offer that then I can understand it but we've got to be wary if certain players are going to go then before we do let other ones go who are good enough I believe to come in and step it and fill in the shoes rather than bringing in some randomer from another club and then they've got to bed themselves in that's my point on it that's my point on it so what's your guys thoughts on Cameron McGeehan let me know in the comments remember big thumbs up subscribe please and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching guys you Reds